Hi everybody, this is Caitlin Springer here with the Florida Orchestra and today I would like to talk about these all state middle school excerpts. So first what we have is an etude from the Wolf Art book like we always have in our middle school requirements and this one, I think this is number 26 from book one you will definitely want to double check go on the foa website and use the edition that they give out thankfully this year they put it right on the page so you don't have to wonder if you're playing the right edition and the right number so that's wonderful so double check that now this etude from the wolf art book is as etude as etude gets we have a string of eighth notes and it's all scales and arpeggios in the key of F major. So what we're going to do is we are going to play an F major two octave scale. And all right, drones on F. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Notice I even played an open A, just making it as easy as I possibly can. This is not to practice playing the viola. Well, it is like warming up on the viola as well, but mostly I want it in your ear. I want the F major key in your ear. Now that we've done that, let's try the same scale, but this time let's do it in third position because we're going to be in third position for this whole etude. It's going to be awesome, maybe. So let's try this out. Drawn back on, F. Same scale, two octave, F major scale, now in third position, so lovely. Find the F, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> So it's in our ear, right? Now what I want to do is I want to take just a little bit of this, like the first one, two, three, four bars, and I want to play this with a simple fingering. So I'm going to play the first four bars in first position because I want to get the F major key in our ear. I want us to be able to hear what it sounds like without having to figure out, am I doing the right fingering? Is this the right note? So let's figure out what it's going to sound like by playing it in first position. This is from the beginning for the first four bars. <laughs> Just that much. It's all an F major, but you get that little D flat in there. It gives it a little bit of spice, right? A little bit of spice and sugar in our D major, turning it kind of into D minor or F minor ish. F major, F minor ish. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to try to make it sound exactly the same in third position. So I'm going to stay in the same. Um, same section. Now the goal is to try to make it sound exactly the same as I just played it in first position. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> me when 
when I'm playing um, in third position, especially in the lower register, it's an extremely unflattering place on the viola. Even if you have a very fine viola, it tends to be very unflattering. So what helps me is to think about playing a little bit closer to the bridge so that I get the, the tension of the bridge. You want a, a little bit of a tighter sound and also don't press too hard. Just kind of let your bow, um, let your bow just feel a little freer but bring it a little closer to the bridge. So let's actually try something really quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this in third position. I'm gonna double every note. So the goal for this to see how fluid I can make the sound. to the bridge than you naturally were able to before and do you feel like you're playing with enough freedom I'm actually using a lot of bow considering the length of these notes all right so those are my tips for playing this piece really well it's all about getting F major in your ear get F major in your ear and then to overcome the unflatteringness of the location of all of this music to practice playing a little bit closer to the bridge, but with more freedom and more flexibility, less pressure and more freedom. So those are my two tips for playing this etude. Now let's see what it's gonna sound like. many dynamic layerings as you want you could make it as interesting as you want so use this piece to tell a story even though it's like the most etude etude eist etude i've probably ever played i mean there's some pretty big etude etudes out there but this is definitely one of them so try to make it really interesting I challenge you guys to add dynamics in there and to try to tell a story. What story could you tell with this music? All right, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.